Hello friends, welcome back. Um, my hair is very big today. I can't seem to get it to tame and I'm just rolling with it. So hi, um, I'm back. I'm back with a new stash. So I'm gonna uh, do a little get ready with me. Um, hopefully the video you've just seen before this, if you're watching me in a row, like um, first of all, Super appreciate that you actually find me entertaining enough to watch my videos more than one. Um, second of all, uh, thanks. Share it. Like and subscribe. Let's go. Um, but I am going to use the new stash I just shopped in and do my makeup. And so we're going to start with the Dominique Blur and Moisture Serum Primer. Never used this one in my life, so we're definitely getting a very first impression. Um... Okay, takes a few pumps, but it comes out. Oh. Oh, it's nice. I probably should have clipped my hair back, so let's do that in a second. Hold up. Okay, that's better. <laughs> uh, oh, this feels nice. I don't know. It doesn't feel... So it doesn't feel tacky in any way. It feels a little, it definitely feels a little moisturizing, which is nice. Um, it is called a blur primer. And I don't know how much blurring it's actually doing. I'm like looking at myself going, I don't look blurred. Do I look blurred? Mm. Um, but I mean, not a bad thing. So I don't know if it's titled properly. I think moisture serum primer is probably a really good, I don't know what I would call it blur. Let's talk ingredients. So this has, oh God, lights are shining off of this box. Okay. It's, it's dimethicone based. Interesting. It doesn't feel very silicone-y. Usually when I get a dimethicone based primer, like you automatically feel it. Like it feels super smooth. It gives you that slip. This doesn't have that slip. That's interesting. And nothing else. Lots of fillers. Nothing else really crazy. Okay. Um, so it's interesting because water is the first ingredient in dendamethicone. So I guess that's why I'm not getting that much of a slip. Um, bonus points. This is from Dominique Cosmetics and they're based out of Irvine. Shout out to my SoCal peeps. I miss you. Um, doesn't feel bad, just interesting, not what I was expecting. So, all right, because it's a new primer, I'm going to go with a trusted, tried and true. I'm going to do my Revlon Color Stay. I love this foundation so, so much. Um, it's, I still have the old packaging with no pump. Um, I just adore it. And ironically, I'm not normal to oily, but I use the combination oily skin formula. And it's just my favorite. This foundation always makes me feel like my skin looks amazing. These sponges are nice. I got these. These came in a boxy charm. I got it. I honestly cannot remember the brand, but it does have this little embossed peace sign in it. So if anybody knows the brand, please feel free to drop me a message and let me know because I have long since thrown away the packaging to these. I just, I have a little, um, like a box, uh, not a box. It's like a little metal. It looks like a metal vase. Um, and I have all of my sponges tossed in there clean and then as they get dirty I shove the dirty ones off to get washed and I pull out a fresh one so when I got these I just tossed them in my box and I'm just now getting to use them I'm gonna go on top with my jcat aqua assurance you guys know I use foundation as a setting powder on top of my foundation so that's just what I do. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 
Uh, this is the Bite Size Brow in Dark Brown. This is the one I shopped in last week for my Full Face of Elf. And it was the secret winner of the week because I fell completely in love with this when I used it for my May my Halloween looks last week. So, and I think I mentioned in my full face, I used the darkest color for like the first half and then the lightest color to fill in the last half. And I'm just obsessed with how it works. So I have to tell you guys, I have had a hell of a time uploading videos lately. I don't know what it is. It's like, I made a bunch of videos with Halloween looks and then I would go to download them so I could edit and it just wasn't working. And I'm like, something, something does not want me to post these. And then just finding time to record regular videos lately has been rough. I've just been really busy, like, in life, in like a good way. So this weekend's kind of like my catch up. So I'm filming this the weekend of Halloween. I had some Halloween stuff last week with work. And this is the day, this today is actually the day before Halloween. So tomorrow I have some Halloween stuff with my family and I just feel like every day has been like go 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 so it's been crazy ah they're not even of course they're not even they're never even so I've been into like a super bold brow this week because I've been doing really strong makeup, more intense than usual. And now I'm like, oh, I want to do that all the time. And I'm kind of toying with going darker on my hair. It's that time of year when I always think about it. And last year about this time, I decided to go red. Like a really dark burgundy maroon, and I still have that color. But then I really regretted it afterwards, and I want to go back lighter. Guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to play with this. This is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. I never do green. We're going to see what we, we're going to see where this, where this journey takes us. Because this could be very interesting. I haven't done a green palette in a very long time. So, this is the problem I have with this palette though. Like, everything is a shimmer except for these three. And that's a light base. That's a really bold base. And then the other one is just dark. I don't even know what to do with this. All right, I'm going to go in into this green pastel green mumbo jumbo. So while I play with this, let me catch you guys up on something. So I have been uh, pouring my own candles for a while now. It's something I started. I always it's something I always had ideas for. And I just kind of never got around to doing it. And about a year ago, I finally like bit the bullet and bought some serious supplies. And I did some experimentation. Like I had already toyed with making my own air fresheners and blending my own oils for fragrances and things like that. So that part was kind of already done you know like I already knew what kinds of fragrances I was drawn to what I wanted to play with when I um poured my own candles and so that part was the easy part 
Then I had to figure out like the whole science of it all, like how much oil do I put in? How much wax do I put in? Let me tell you, the first couple candles were a hot mess. Like I didn't realize how like science driven this whole endeavor is. And I am somebody who just kind of like poof, I just like wing it and go. And I'm like, yeah, we'll see what happens. You can't just wing it and go when you're making candles. Like, it's a thing. So, this was an ordeal. And, but I stuck with it. And I have now gotten to a place where I have found, like, the perfect recipe with the perfect wax. Like, that's the other thing is nobody tells you. Ev like you have to do this research but you know you buy those candle making kits and you think oh it's easy no problem I can do this and every wax melts at a different temperature takes a different length to melt like they don't all work well with others when you're using fragrance oils like it's a whole thing and other people it I think it comes easily to some people it did not come easy to me I had to work really hard at figuring this out but I'm really glad I stuck with it because I'm really enjoying it I listen to I listen to a lot of podcasts and in case you guys don't know there is a one tree hill rewatch rewatch podcast that I'm 100 p obsessed with so if you were not a One Tree Hill fan, um, get on that bandwagon because A, it's like one of my favorite soapy teen soap dramas ever. Um, and I have some unpopular opinions, I will say, about favorite characters and things that happened. Um, but I'll reserve those for later. <laughs> Um, as I rewatch more, you guys might get more of this, so sorry if it bothers you. But, um, one of the ladies, so it's the three main ladies, um, Hillary Burton Morgan, Joy Lenz, and Sophia Bush, they, uh, they have this podcast, and I think it was Joy who was saying, and I'm, I, I started this from the beginning. So these are early episodes from like, they're rewatching all the way from season one. And I started with them. I am on this boat. And Joy was talking about how she loves to do mixed drinks because she finds it's like the closest she can feel to like potion mixing and how cool that, that energy is. And I found I feel the exact same way about candle mixing. I feel like pouring candles, finding the perfect oils, that, that scent that just kind of speaks to you. I feel like I'm mixing potions and I'm obsessed with it. So... Yeah, I think it's the closest I'm ever going to get to, like, you know, mixing an elixir. Unless I finally do create my own makeup line, in which, watch out, because that really will be potion mixing. I'm so excited. We'll see if that ever happens. I'm like, this is so bright for me. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we're going to play with the LA Girl Gel Liner. Well, what y'all just missed right now was me spending the last, I don't know how many minutes, looking for the perfect brush to do this with, and I couldn't find the one I want. So I'm using my Luxie brush. This is a great brush. This is Luxie. It's a small, it's called the Small Angle Brush by Luxie. Great brush. Luxie makes awesome brushes. I I know I've gotten them in BoxyCharm. That's where I got my first set, and I really liked it so much that I ordered, like, two sets from them when, like, the pop-up shops happened. So, 
I haven't gone looking for them in the stores yet because, well, I have like three sets. The, I will say this brush is a little, it's a little soft. So the brush I was looking for was a little, just a smidgen stiffer. So it's easier to, to manipulate this gel liner this gel liner is really really good though guys if you're looking for a good gel liner on a budget this la girl one is pretty bomb so i can use it both on the top and on my waterline it doesn't go anywhere and it doesn't dry up or feel cakey or anything like that I've had it for at least a year now, honestly. It's probably well past the replenishment day for eye products. So see, if you subscribe to the three to six month rule on eye products, I probably should have, re should have replaced it already, but I won't because it's like more than half full and it's still gel and it still works great. So I'm not going to replace it. I hate to admit that having been a makeup professional and I will say this like if it was in my kit oh wait I have lashes today now I'm not gonna use them today I'm gonna use these today like if it was in my kit I always replaced my stuff like I always wrote down when I opened a product I always had a sticker on the bottom of my of a product in my kit that told me like when I opened it and started using it that way I could replace it as needed but in my personal stash that's never been the case like if it's just something I'm using on myself I'll use it until I'm good and ready to be done using it hate to admit it but it's true we all break those rules sometimes right like that's one of those makeup rules I definitely break like I 100% still have my naked one palette from Urban Decay that I bought, what, 10 years ago now? Okay, maybe eight, but I'm still not getting rid of it. Sorry, not sorry, especially now that you can't buy it again. It's like, Urban Decay, I would rebuy it if you brought me back a Naked 1 palette, Naked 2. I would 100p repurchase and throw away my old one. But now that you discontinued it, sucks to be you. I'm not getting rid of it. And... That's that. I will probably still buy other naked Urban Decay palettes. So, okay. Obsession with this blue mascara. And it shows up so good against this green eyeshadow. Okay. Loving it. Love, love, loving it. I am going to go in with my absolute favorite blush, my Benefit and Terra. This just is such a good blush. guys go run don't walk and pick up these benefit blushes they are so good I need to get more but when I bought this one it just kind of filled in the perfect the perfect empty space in my collection but now I want all of them because a they're super cute I wish they made all of the colors in miniature but I think they didn't made a good choice as to which ones they carry in miniature they carry a really nice selection of them. I had told myself I was going to do concealer today, and then I forgot, and now I'm not. I am going to highlight, though. And I'm going to use that Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Oh, and this is oh another Luxie brush. I just love this brush for... This is called the Tapered Highlighter. And it works great for highlighter. I'm just really having a moment where I'm really bringing back a lot of my 2016, 2018 makeup looks. And I'm here for this highlighter look. We're going to finish off this look with the NYX uh, Shine Loud Lippy. And... Goal Getter. I do like the NYX Doe Foot. 
it comes to a point enough where I can use it to like line my lips with and it's stiff enough so it's not bending as I do it I love it guys this product is so so good so it's a it's a liquid lip like it's a stain it goes on and it kind of dries down to like this soft matte almost like a satin finish I think these came out two years ago if I'm not mistaken maybe a year and a half ago um I remember the day I discovered these I was having dinner with my friend Christella and she's wearing this gorgeous lip and it stayed shiny and we were having drinks and it was still shiny and I was like what the hell is on your lips and she pulled this out so like once it dries down to like a that soft matte you go over it with the liquid with the clear gloss and I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they did to this this gloss doesn't go away it's not like now like eventually it'll just be like the matte lip on my lip I don't know what kind of voodoo magic NYX is doing but this stuff stays and it stays just like this and I'm so here for it. Oh, I almost forgot setting spray. So guys, another empty. Oh, I finished my um, setting spray from e.l.f. The um, Jen Atkin one. So I've moved on to the e.l.f. Game Up collection. <laughs> um, this is the Shield Me setting spray. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I over... <laughs> Look, do not judge how much setting spray I use on my face. It's a thing. I like to feel it hit every inch of my face, and then as it just let it evaporate, I think it works better that way. Anyway, so that's my full face, my first day out with the new products. Um, brand, brand new to the mix was this Dominique blur moisture serum primer I still believe this is um more of just a moisture primer but it went well and it's I mean my foundation sat nicely on top of it so I'm not mad at it I think it's going to be a, a nice little fun addition a little pleased with this Huda Beauty this isn't my first time using this palette but it is the first time in a really long time I don't usually use greens on my eyes. Um, it just makes me feel like I'm wearing, even though I wear a lot of makeup. I don't know why. I, it just feels weird on my face. So not using it. Or I don't usually use it, but I don't mind it. I think the standouts today, I got to give it to Big Mood in this blue. I really wish they would give me another blue mascara. Maybe I'll go shop because I feel like, I feel like they need to bring this color in like all of their fountain mascaras for sure. Damn it, guys. I forgot these again. So sometime this week, we'll get these e.l.f. Do Daily Dew sticks in there and try them out. Um. Oh, and then this lip is a standout. I'm obsessed. So like I said, if you, I have three colors of this NYX Shine Loud and now, um, as it's getting more wintry and I am using more lip, like actual color on my lip, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to grab some more of these because I love it. Oh, that's what's wrong. I'm like, why is my hair falling? My hair's already falling down. It's like a thing. So thank you all so, so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for letting me talk your ear off about makeup and skincare and apparently One Tree Hill. Oh, real quick. Um, major shout out. So my manicure today, courtesy of, as per usual, Kiss Nails. So I am obsessed with Kiss Nails. I, I, Kiss, if you wanted to sponsor the channel, I'm here for it. I have like seven subscribers and I love you all very much. <laughs> I talk about Kiss Nails all the time in my personal life. I wear them every single day. Um, so I used to, let me rewind a little bit because you need to know my nail journey. So I am a nail biter. Always have been since I was little. Um, I just, I 
will always bite my nails unless I have nails on. So I used to get acrylics on, I've tried SNS, everything. And I love the feeling of going to the salon and sitting down. It is my me time. Like to me, getting my nails done is more relaxing than going for massage. Well, when I lost my job earlier this year and I still wanted, like I had just gotten my last set of acrylics put on and now we're looking at a month and I was like, oh, I can't afford to go get my nails done. I turned back to my Kiss nails, the ones that you glue on. And I thought it was just gonna be a temporary fix. So we're talking, this was back in August. It's been almost three months now. I thought, just until I get back on my feet, I'm gonna go back to getting my nails done. Guys, I don't wanna go back to getting my nails done. I now, I buy, I'll change my nails out every single week. And even changing them every week, it still costs less than getting my nails done once a month at the salon. And they look just as good. So this this is actually two packs in one. So the two middle fingers, this white and gold, is part of their Vogue-ish set. Um, I forget what it's called. I should have it here, but I'm not prepared, obviously. But this was like a white manicure, and I was like, that's so pretty. I went to go put them on, and I was like, white on everything, not my style. So I, I had this black set that I bought, guys at Dollar Tree, no, Family Dollar. Family Dollar has Kiss nails. And they're the exact same nails. Um, And so I bought this plain black mat. And so I mixed and matched the set to create. And what's cool is now I have two weeks. Next week I'll probably do like the two middle ones will be black and the rest of them will be like the white and gold. Um. But I am so beyond obsessed. So I have nails for the next like, you know, month or so. I almost exclusive, I use almost exclusively Kiss nails. They're just so good. They look amazing. They last. Um, I love all the fun. Like my only, my only request would be, can I get more patterns and different colors? But you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna complain. Um, I use, these are the short length and they're perfect for work. I use short and medium almost exclusively. When I buy the long length, because maybe I love the pattern and they don't have it in a short or medium, I do have to cut them down. They're way too long for everyday work. So kiss, if you're listening and you wanna read my diary, make loads more in like the short and medium, but I went through like a fangirl and was stalking their website last night or the night before and there are so many more sets you can get on their website and they have um, they have a loyalty program so you can sign up and earn points. So I'm over here fangirling over Kiss Nails um, and I wanted to share that because that's just true to who I am and it's part of me so you guys will always see me with nails on. And yeah, they're they're the glue on from Kiss. I'm obsessed. Um, you know, at ten bucks a box. Um, sometimes at the Dollar Tree or Dollar or Family Dollar, you can find them for three and five dollars. Um, so totally worth going and picking up. But anyway, wanted to send that shout out because, again complete obsession. I'm such a makeup addict. Like I can't even stand it. So, all right, now I'm done. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to get some more videos loaded this week than I have in the last couple weeks. Cause I know it's been slow, but really appreciate y'all have an amazing week and we will talk soon. Bye.